Art is the least, most valuable thing there is. It's because it's the highest expression of our work and thus serves to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. I got doxxed on Reddit and started an 130 comment flame war for saying I don't like AI art. Here's my response. Welcome to the channel if you're new here, and please remember to subscribe. When I posted my last video, I was not expecting that much backlash. I put it here on YouTube, and then I shared it to a small subreddit for people who care about AI art because I thought they might find it interesting, which, if you've ever been on Reddit, you will know was a big fucking mistake, and it was. People were doxing me, they were trying to figure out where I work and where I have worked, they were pulling out my old papers to try to tell me that I'm not a real AI researcher, that I don't know anything about machine learning. They were calling me everything from a caveman, to a Luddite, to an alarmist, to a catastrophist. So I suppose this video is a response to the feedback I got from that last video. And if you'll forgive me, I am a little pissed off. What is a tool? Now, let me just start by saying that I've been reading a lot about this this past week because I want to get this right. And I've got a lot of respect for the spirit that runs deep in the arts community of not policing or constraining artistry, which is where I think a lot of this feedback came from. I can't define art, it's whatever you want it to be, and an artist is anyone who makes art. I'm not trying to tell anyone what they can or can't do, but I'm just pointing out that there are real concerns here. The first being a general point that I don't think we should automate creative expression because it's one of the most beautiful and human things we do as humans. I don't understand how it's net positive to release and build these models that automate the creative process and compete directly with human artists. And two, if you saturate an entire industry with infinite supply at essentially zero marginal cost, I can't help but think that's going to hurt artists who eat based off commission. And third, the most common argument I heard in response to my last video was that AI and art is fundamentally a tool, not automation. And I think AI can be a tool in art, but it can also just be automation. Now, this is definitely a blurry line, and I can't tell you precisely where it falls. There are some artists that I like that are folding AI into their creative process guided by a real curiosity. These artists do a ton of iteration and augmentation and use AI as a small subcomponent in their workflow. And that's using AI as a tool. But this is automation. And this is the stuff my last video was about. This was the stuff that was flooding my Instagram Explore page by the thousands. Because honestly, it wasn't the brilliant work of studio artists that was sucking up all the oxygen on the internet when Mid Journey came out. And this is where my concerns lie. They lie with this drag and drop ethos of people posting or worst selling images straight out of Mid Journey or with a tiny bit of modification. Now tools in the arts are always evolving, but this is not like premix paints or cameras or digital art tablets. It's not something that makes it more convenient for you to make the choices that lie in between ideas in a final product. It's something that makes those choices for you and spits out a product. Make me a photo of the Brooklyn Bridge. Make me a painting of the Brooklyn Bridge. An artist is anyone who makes art, who makes art, but you do have to make it. And to make something doesn't just mean having a vision, no matter how specific, of the final product. Which is actually an idea that a lot of people threw at me. That true creativity lies in having the general idea, that little spark of vision. And the process of making that idea into a reality doesn't matter as much, that's just implementation or execution details. You can delegate that to AI. But whatever art is, it lies in that process of translating the general idea to the real specific thing. Expertise is not about knowing in broad strokes what you want, it's about figuring out how to get there and actually doing it. And likewise, being an artist is not about having a very specific idea of the final product, because then having a sufficiently detailed AI prompt would count. It's about knowing the specifics of the process. That's where all skill, all art, and all craft lies. This holds no matter what tools you're using, and if those tools make the decisions for you about how to translate from the idea to the specific thing, they're not tools, they're automation. I mean, you made something if it matters uniquely that you're the one who made it, and not anyone else. Which is true for things like cameras in digital art. I could hand the same tablet and stylus with Photoshop on it to three different artists, 
and asked them to paint the Brooklyn Bridge and get three completely different pieces back. I could hand the same camera to three different photographers and ask for a photo of the one train and get three completely different perspectives back. I could give three chefs the same exact kitchen and ask them all to make bread for me and get three completely different things back. Their hand is in it. If I asked three different people around the world with completely different backgrounds to go to Mid Journey and type in, you know, a painting of the Statue of Liberty, they would come back to me with three slightly different pieces, but those differences wouldn't be because of the differences between the people who had requested them. Those differences are contained entirely within the algorithm, within the randomness of the sampling mechanism used in the algorithm. They have nothing to do with the three people who generated these paintings. Those three pieces would vary only as much as if I asked one person to put in that prompt three times. In other words, those people's hand is not in the work at all. Now, art is whatever you want it to be. I'm not arguing for a specific medium or style. I don't think we have to go back to the 15th century and everyone has to be using oil painting on canvas. I think this is art and this is art and this is art too. And I also have faith in the resilience of art. Art has always evolved, there have always been new tools, and human creativity has always shined through. So yeah, overall, art is whatever you want it to be, and an artist is anyone who makes art, but you do need to make it. Thanks so much for watching, thanks so much for being here. Please remember to subscribe, and also you can check me out on Substack, where I write Post Truth, which is a newsletter about internet culture, AI, and tech. So please subscribe to me on both of those platforms to support my work and get more pieces like this.